Hello everybody. I would like to take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Stevens. I'm a nurse practitioner and the founder and owner of DeNovo. And I've been asked to tell you a little bit about hormone replacement therapy. What is hormone replacement therapy? Well, as we age, our hormones start to decline. And sometimes we notice this as early as our 30s. Most of the time, we're feeling this when we're in our 40s, sometimes even 50s. These symptoms um, of hormone deficiency, um, they come on very gradually. It's not all at once these things start happening. It's just really all at once that you start realizing these things are happening. Some of the things that you'll notice are fatigue, you know, um, spending time at the gym and not getting the results that you used to get when you were a little bit younger, um, just not feeling on top of your game. You might have brain fog. You might walk outside and say, I'm going to cut the, forget the word grass. But a lot of different people have a lot of different symptoms, and these come on at different times for different people. It might be come on younger for some women, and, and other women are not going to feel it until they're a lot older. It, it's just different for everybody. But those are some of the symptoms. Now we talk about what is hormone replacement therapy. All we're doing is taking a blood test and figuring out what your deficiencies are and turning back the clock a little bit. We're trying to take your whatever your physical age and your blood results are and put you back to your 25 again. That's when basically we all felt the best. A lot of people are under the misunderstanding that we're going to give a lot of testosterone or we're going to give a lot of estrogen or different things like that. We're really not. See, there's a normal range. Range. It's called a herd range from the low end of what's normal and the high end of what's normal. And what we're trying to do is just to put you at the high end of what's normal. We're not trying to be estrophysiological where we're putting, you giving you way too much. You know, people get concerned about t uh, uh, steroid rage and different things like that. And that doesn't happen when you're still at a normal value. And that's what we're trying to do with hormone replacement therapy. Now the next question, and the big question that's out there right now, what, what are the types of hormone replacement therapy? That usually happens either by creams, injectables, or pellets. I prefer pellets, number one, and on a, in a few cases for women, sometimes we'll use creams. Both of those types of delivery mechanisms are bioidentical, and what that means is that those they're made out of soy plants, and when that chemical structure is written down, it's exactly the same as what your body naturally produces. Now, when we give a synthetic hormone, like a testosterone injectable, it has an extra ester attached to it, and it has to pass through the liver and get that ester knocked off before it becomes usable to the body. I prefer for it just to be direct and bioidentical. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the procedure, okay? These pellets are tiny. For, for women, they're, they're real, real small, and I'm gonna get one here in a second and show you. And for guys, they're just a little bit larger than, than a grain of cooked rice, okay? So with guys, we'll use probably eight to 10 of those bigger pellets. And for women, we're using one small pellet. Now, these pellets are made of testosterone powder, bioidentical, it's 95% testosterone, and there's 5% steric acid in there, which is what compacts and holds the pellet together. Now, you ask, how is, how is this delivered, and do they go away, or do we take them out? Well, I'd like to take a moment to explain the procedure of pellet placement. Okay, so it's a very simple procedure. It takes us five or six minutes to do. But the first thing we do is just take a little bit of lidocaine, make a little wheel uh, underneath your skin. It's usually placed in the bottom or in the flanks, all right? And once that area is numb, we make a small little tiny incision, like literally smaller than the size of a pencil. And then we have a trocar that's introduced, and that, that's what we put that right underneath the skin, and that's what we place the pellets through that are then in the fat, okay? So how is that absorbed? Well, every single muscle cell, every single fat cell, every cell in your body, has blood that passes through it all the time. So that little pellet that is 
packed testosterone, or in some cases estradiol or estrogen for women, there's a little bit of blood going by and over that pellet at all times. And so your body is just taking a little piece of that powder every time that it goes. And that's the beauty of getting a nice even level in your bloodstream, okay? So after we place those pellets, we put some stereo strips on, we put a plastic dressing on so you can shower over it. We leave the dressing on for three days, you pull it off and that's the end of it. Um, then you're good. One minute's about three or four months. Guys, it's about four or five months. After your first time that we do this, we're going to draw some blood about a month later and see what your levels are. And again, what we're trying to do is to put you high at the, the high end of normal. Okay? If we're a little bit over, next time we do a little bit less. If we're a little bit under, next time we do a little bit more. It, it's just a little bit of a finesse in the beginning, but once we get your dose, it's pretty consistent for a long time thereafter. So why do I recommend bioidentical? As a practitioner, as a nurse for 30 years, and a doctor of nursing now, I've seen a lot of things in my life. And the thing that, that comes consistent to me is that any time that we can choose a bioidentical product to go into our body versus a synthetic one, it just makes sense. 